it's been said that you can't hit a target that you don't have. And that's why you should set goals. And part of our mind says, ah, yes, but you also can't miss a target that you don't have. So no disappointment, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's do some tapping around resisting setting goals so that you can allow yourself to have more of what you really want in life, right? So taking full responsibility for your own well-being. And first, maybe thinking about a goal that you would set if you weren't afraid. Now, taking full responsibility for your own well-being. Even though I resist setting goals, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I resist setting goals, I choose to love and honor myself. Even though I resist setting goals, because part of me says, once I set a goal, I either have to reach it which I'm not sure is possible. Or I have to suffer the pain of disappointment, which seems all too likely. And even though I resist setting goals, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And maybe anyone else who taught me to think this way. <clears throat> all this resistance to setting goals. All this resistance to setting goals. All this fear of setting goals. All this fear of the disappointment that will come if I set a goal and miss it. I'm so afraid that if I set a goal and I don't achieve it, I'm going to have to feel disappointment. I'm going to be ha I'm, I'm going to have to be angry at myself. Why would I want to put myself through that? So if I don't set goals, there's no risk of that. At least that's what part of me tells me. By not setting goals, I avoid the risk of disappointment by guaranteeing it. because there are things that I want. And refusing to set these goals is just me being in denial. Because part of me already knows what I want. And instead of dealing with the risk of disappointment, If I set a goal, I guarantee the disappointment by not setting the goal. And it's not because I'm bad or stupid. It's not because I'm weak or lazy. I've just been taught to do this by other people who are in denial by other people who are afraid of disappointment and aren't even realizing that they are guaranteeing their own disappointment. But they convince themselves that they don't feel that. They convince themselves that's just the way it is. And to validate their point, 
they've tried to convince me that that's just the way it is. Because if I succeed, that makes them look bad. But it doesn't. It gives them the opportunity to change their mind. My resisting setting goals doesn't help anyone. It's not even helping me. And now that I'm allowing myself to be aware of that, I choose to change my mind about that. and clear up this resistance to setting goals. I'm giving myself permission to set goals. Deciding what I want. Putting a date on it. Just to give myself some more motivation. Because what can be done at any time is done at no time. And I don't want to wait that long. And if I don't hit the goal by that date, that's okay. I don't have to beat myself up. I'll be closer than I would have been otherwise. And I'll have figured some things out. So I'm giving myself permission to set these goals and figure out what it's going to take to get it. And then clear my fear of getting it. Because part of me might be afraid of getting my goals. And what will that mean? And what will other people think? Well, that's for them to tap on. It's safe for me to set goals. It's even safe for me to achieve them. So I'm setting myself free to set those goals and allowing myself to feel good about that in body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. And give yourself permission to think about what you want. Set some goals, put some dates on them. And uh, if things come up along the way that hold you back, I'm here for you. Thanks. And don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Thank you.